I'm super excited, like a kid in a candy store. Just got my upgraded speakers from J&M for my 2010 Ultra Classic, because I blew my other speakers, and uh, gonna put them in. Need this star-shaped tool. I know it's got an official name. I don't know what it is. But uh, that will take off these little nuts right here. Right here, I'm gonna take off this. I watched a few videos on YouTube, and now I'm gonna try it myself. Uh, gotta take these little nuts off here too, um, and maybe even these ones here along the edge. That's what's holding the fairing in. So uh, just keep pulling things off until I can pull this uh, this windshield off. All right, <clears throat> so I loosened the inside uh, screws, the two on each side, um, on the fairing, on the inside fairing, and so this kind of, uh, it loosened up, and um, I will, uh, with all the bug juice and everything like that, I'll clean it later, but it pulls right out, the windshield. Ah, I found the hidden, the hidden uh, little bolt here, right there. You have to move the forks, get down in there. Fairing's almost completely off. This is the one that is hidden, and there's one on the other side as well. And it's right kind of underneath the console, under the radio. This one is even trickier on this side, left-hand side, because you have all these wires and stuff like that, but there it is right there. So I think that's going to be the last one. So here are a few precautions um, that I've seen on other videos. Um, so I've put a, a towel here to, um, to take care of your fender. And then also I've got some old socks and put them on these uh, my little fog lamps. So they stay nice and shiny and new looking. And here we go. Here's the fairing. It's completely um, taken off. Motorcycle now taken apart. And here's the uh, headlight. And this is all stock stuff. So I'm probably going to take it. Looks like you just release it from there. Put it in a safe place. And then get to these, uh, these speakers here. I blew these speakers. And so I'm giving them a J&M up. Dates. Upgrade. Ah, I just figured this out. Um, on this stock one, you just squeeze the sides here, pull it up, and there it is, unplugged. Yay! All right, looks like we have some uh, Torx, Torx screws here too. That need to be to take off these old speakers. So we'll take those off. Very important to keep all your uh, nuts in order so to speak uh, these and also these screws here the long screws are for the top and this one is for the bottom so you have two different sizes right here these are the long ones this is the short one on this bracket and voila there's the old speaker beautiful I don't know if this is gonna be a problem though uh, these are way bigger than the stock ones, but there is an adapter here, and I'm thinking the adapter will make it work. Cross our fingers. <coughs> Let's see, you got to use a 316 Allen head to pull this bracket off, and then these are actually attached, uh, these wires are attached to it, but you just uh, kind of pull on them and pop them out. They pop right out, just like that. Alright, next thing we got to do is uh, remove these spade wire connectors. Alright, <clears throat> when in doubt, follow the directions. They have pretty good directions here. Um, looks like this is the way it installs here per the directions. Um, <clears throat> very important that you do not use the old screws. They're too long. They'll poke right through the other side of the fairing. Um, you want the wires over here on the left-hand side. And uh, 
So I'm going to put these in and uh, put it on the other side as well. All right, so here we go. Um, screwed on the the speaker here. Uh, the thing that's vague about the instructions is it doesn't really say where to feed this wire from the tweeter um, through the back, and I didn't want to crimp it. So um, there's a little kind of a little space here, and so um, I just fed it through there. Doesn't really tell you exactly where to put it, but I like I said I didn't want to crimp it. So there we go. Um, all right, here's another important thing here. These are the spacer brackets. You've got to put those back in. With um, they provide these uh, these bolts with um, uh, with spacers. Uh, very important that as you're facing the fairing on the uh, right hand side um, there are two of these connectors and then on the left hand side there are three you want to make sure and put those um, back the way they came they these clip into the wire harnesses all right here we go uh, absolutely have to have this adapter on here um, or the bracket won't fit anymore. So not only do we do the spacer on the other side, but this as well. Uh, very, very important. All right, so this is what it looks like with the adapters on there. And uh, here's that. And then all we gotta do is just slide these into these little holders here, and these are gonna snap right in and be secure again, right there. Snap those in. Okay, boy, these sure do look sharp. Uh, now the moment of truth. Wow! I <laughs> love it! Woo! Out with the old. In with the new. Alright, so everything's back together. And uh, looking real sharp those new speakers wow and you don't really get the full effect until the fairings back together and on Let's check it out I highly recommend this upgrade. It only costs a couple hundred bucks plus some elbow grease and it's worth its weight in gold.